What's up, YouTube? This is Spash from Especially Witty. I was recently doing a couple searches on YouTube on how to make the wobble bass uh, in any dubstep song you hear um, on Reason 3.0, but I couldn't find it. I can only find it for four, so that was a little frustrating. So I decided to go ahead and make this a uh, little tutorial on how to make uh, a wobble bass in Reason 3.0. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Reason. Now, what I have here is a dubstep remix I did to uh, Senator Bird's Barbaric, talking about dogfighting, which isn't, you know, a funny subject, um, but he said barbaric way too many times. But um, this is kind of the example of what I'm talking about here. So I'll go ahead and solo that track and let you guys hear what I'm talking about. So that's kind of what the rough idea I'm talking about. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep this session open. I'm going to go ahead and hit Apple S to save that. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit uh, File New and create a new one. Now, I created this wobble base into a patch, which you can download off um, especially woody.com. If you'd like, um, feel free to use it. I don't care. Do whatever you want to do with it. Um, you can even tweak it, and that's kind of what I'm about to show you right now. So first thing I always do is uh, separate my sequence window from my rack window. And now I'm going to create, um, by right-clicking on the black here, a subtractor analog synthesizer. Now the deal here, the trick with any wobble base, the wobble is all about the LFO. And what you want to do if, if you have an external controller, for me it's my Akai MPK-49, is you want to right click on the rate and edit remote override mapping. If you click that, then you can say control surface, and right now I don't have mine plugged in. But if I did, I would click there and it would show up, and then I would hit learn from control surface input, and then twist the knob that I wanted to use. Then I would hit OK. Now every single time I would want to do the wobble, I would just twist that little knob and then that one would start moving. In this circumstance, I'm just going to go ahead and keep our initial patch. And I'm going to turn the first thing I'm going to do is turn the portamento up to 13. And then I'm going to change the polyphony all the way down to 1. All the way over here, you'll see this little fil filter frequency knob, and I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off. Make it 12 o'clock. Turn it vertically. Then where the real changes are going to come into play are here in the oscillators. So I'm going to go ahead and first turn on this first, the second oscillator, excuse me, and I'm going to change the waveforms for both of them. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change them to that little tooth-shaped um, icon. I'm going to go ahead and change right here in the, God, I can't even read that. My hand, eyes are so bad. I'm going to change this one to th uh, 3 and this one to negative 2. I'm going to keep the FM and the mix all the same. And the only thing left to change besides this is all the way down here, the filter envelope under the velocity tab. I want to go ahead and make that a 0, too. Other than that, that's basically all I want to do. What I can do uh, as a, another option is edit my mapping for the filter frequency over here and change it. I would recommend changing it to the high pass filter, but you don't have to. You can do whatever you'd like. And then make sure that your LFO is on. To so go all the way up there. And now if you play something, it'll kind of sound something like what I showed you before. Now what I did in my patch, just to show you what I'm talking about, I'll go ahead and create my combinator. Load that patch up. Let me see if I can find it. I think it's on my external hard drive. Go ahead and hit Wobble. There it is. I created a 6-2 line mixer. Then I, go, I went ahead and I did that um, subtractor. Now I titled that subtractor patch called James Bernard, who's kind of 
uh, pretty revolutionary in the dubstep world. Um, and I modeled that one off of a Reason demo track. This patch is almost to the T of uh, what what he had. And um, also, before I forget, I want to make sure you guys are aware to change the octave down to three on each. Kind of forgot to mention that. Um, I added another subtractor in here. It's just a basic reason patch called LA Riot Bass. Kind of gives it more of a lower end, so it's not just high uh, distortion. And then lastly, I added a Scream 4, and I set it to overdrive, and I just kind of kicked the damage up a wee bit. But that's it. I didn't cut it, didn't do add a body, nothing. Just added the damage up a wee bit. And you're more than welcome to download this patch from www.especiallywitty.com. Link will be down below. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you uh, learned something from this tutorial. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.